three, two, one. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be doing first and second impressions on a new, newish palette that Lethal Cosmetics, an indie brand that I like or love quite a bit has put out it is their new wildflower palette it looks like this it is a sister palette to the nightflower palette that they put out last year which I absolutely love it was a mix of well mostly purple purple pinks blues palette that is probably my favorite purple palette that I own but this is what it looks like I'm going to do one look today I'm going to do another look tomorrow and then this will um then you will we'll see both in this video so let's go ahead and well, it has a little saying here right here it says the wallflower blooms in defiance of those who call it a weed and I like that saying right there so let's do some live swatches these do not have names on them most most of the time unless it's a collab palette they do not have names so I'm just going to we're just gonna live swatch these right here and some of these are We've got one, two, three, four, five, six mattes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers, which I think is a great um, ratio here. So we're going to start off with this color right here, which is a nice little duochrome, multi-chrome, duochrome. I don't know. It's very iridescent. You can kind of see white and purple shades in it very beautiful i think that would make a great inner corner look we've got kind of a soft pink color here then we have this other kind of duo multi-chrome color here you can see this this would probably work good as a topper color you could see shades of blue and purple in there. Sometimes when I look back at this footage, I'm like, why didn't I see that color in there? You're probably seeing a different color, colors than I am. <laughs> then we've got a purple and pink, a uh, purple color here. Uh, I love that color of purple. And then we've got kind of a very deep pink color there and then we've got another kind of multi-chrome color here it's got blues and greens in it oh there's some pink in it too that's very beautiful oh my gosh this color story <laughs> so far is killing it okay there are if, as you saw, there are 12 colors in here. Here's another kind of bluish, kind of a purple color, a bluish purple. And then a pink shimmer, duochrome, multichrome. You can see some purple in that one too. Beautiful. We got that. And then a, yet another pinkish duo multi-chrome. Another beautiful iridescent looking one there. And then we have kind of a brown color. They're a very light brown. I've got a couple of good crease colors there. And then this color right here. Oh, that's probably one of my favorite shimmers there. I'm just looking at it in the mirror here. Yeah. 
that's a beautiful uh, and then we have a very deep color kind of a deep blue deep navy blue color there look at that color story oh my gosh that is absolutely outstandingly I, I can say beautiful a million times, but it, it doesn't even, the words, I, I just can't, I just can't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just hope it is as good on the eyes as it is in the swatches. I'm going to clean up. I will be right back and I'm going to try to do this palette justice. Okay, <laughs> I will be right back. Okay. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to see about going into this color, this color, this color. I really want to try out this shimmer here. And I don't know, maybe, maybe try this one or this one in as well. We shall see how it turns out. So I'm going to start with this pinkish color. Oh great, the dog is barking. I wonder... What got him started? Oh, this is absolutely a beautiful pink color. Very muted. Very nice. Oh, I just, I love pink colors like this quite a bit. Looking very nice. Okay. You don't even have to try very hard with this with this formula. I mean, this is a great beginner's formula. I know legal cosmetics tends to cost more. It's not a cheap brand, but I'm going into this more bluish purple color. But um it is a very beginner friendly formula. From when I first started using them, I, I wouldn't have said that in the very beginning when I first started using this formula. But they have definitely worked on their formula and it has gotten so much better. Okay, now I'm going to use this darkest color, this kind of navy, navy blue color here on my outer corner and blend that in. I also got their Metamorphosis palette and I worked with that absolutely beautiful palette. Definitely another must. It's more reds and yellows. A more warm toned palette. Where this is a more cool toned palette. I would love to try this and the night flower together sometime. Oops, poke myself in the eye. Always love when that happens. The blending out into a beautiful color. I think I put a little too much on this side though. Okay, I think I added a little bit more of that blue here, but um, I think it looks okay. Of course I will clean up my look I am going to, I think I want to add some concealer to my eyes and I think that's what I want to do. Okay. I'll spare you having to watch me do that. So I'll be right back. Okay. Just did that to see if this color here shows up a little better. Cause I'm just gonna tap it on. Oh, that is such a beautiful color. Look at that. Oh my OMG. Oh 
know this is a beautiful, absolutely. Mm. And what am I going to, what else am I going to use? Okay, I'm going to use this, this color right here on my inner corner. Oh, come on, show up, please. Oh, I should have put... I should have put that first one all over my eyes. Oh, it's getting messy. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay, wow. I feel like I look like a mermaid or something with this look. I went ahead and put on eyeliner and some... Mascara. The eyeliner I used was my, where'd it go? I already put it back. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On in zero. And the mascara I used is the Ilia Mascara. I'll probably put another coat on while I'm doing my makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup, see how this looks with everything, and I will be right back. Okay, here is the final look that I came up with this palette and my makeup. Let us, I think I love this look. Like I said, I feel like a freaking mermaid in this look. And yeah, I used, I just used this color under the eye and this color right here in my inner corner and my brow bone highlight. I'll go ahead and tell you what I used on my face. I used the KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. Really like this for dry skin. For um, bronzer, I used the Milk cream bronzer for blush i use the Too faced cloud crush in watermelon rain just used just i'll tell you exactly what i did i just took this because look at that color i just went boop and just used it on my cheeks and then covered it up a little bit with powder to diffuse it a little bit. And then for powder, I used my Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy. It's a nice powder if you don't want to feel like you have powder on. For dry skin, the luminosity of your skin still comes through really well highlighter I didn't put on any highlighter um that's interesting I just forgot to put on highlighter okay and then for I already showed you mascara but on my bottom lashes I put the telescopic lift for eyebrows I didn't use my brow mascara I actually found this unopened that I hadn't used it is the Kosas wow brow I think that's what it's called and it's just in like dark brown so I used that. I smelled it. It didn't smell funny or anything like that. And then for lips, I used my Jeffree Star um, lip glosses. Again, I can't read this tiny print. It was like the smallest print ever. So I used those on my lips. Uh, do I want to go back in my little caddy hair? Not really. Okay, I pulled out my Nightflower palette to show you guys. And this is what the Night Flower, Night Flower palette looks like in comparison to the Wildflower palette. So this is what the two look like together. You can absolutely use the two of these together to make a very beautiful look. So, yeah. Okay, so again, here is this look. Let's go ahead and jump into look number two. One. Okay, let's go ahead and do that next look. Okay, here we go with the palette again. I think today I want to do a pink look. Just a full-on pink look. And then I'm going to use these two mattes only. 
and then use this as a shimmer shade and then use this as well to put on top of it and again for inner corner and brow bone highlights so not a lot I really want to use this shade but um it is very similar to this shade it is just more purple so these two shades are very similar just different colors this shade is very much not as it's a little more transparent this color is right here so is this one is more like a topper inner corner highlight shade and this one I used yesterday as well as this one. These two colors are very similar. I used this one yesterday. This one is just a brown color. I used this one yesterday and I'm going to use this one today as well as this one again. So, okay, just <laughs> looking to find the brush I need. So again, I'm going to start with that very pretty pink color above my crease and get it started then I would I showed you those two palettes together I can't wait to do a look with both of those together maybe I'll do that in a future get ready with me let me know if you have either of these palettes, if you have both of these palettes, if you've used both of these palettes together, I would really, really like to know that. If you are wondering, I do live in Allen, Texas. That is where the recent mass shooting took place. Me and my family are doing just fine but all my love and prayers go out to everyone affected that was affected in that recent mash shooting nobody i know was affected but it is still a very tragic incident that took place near my home very very near my home i don't live very far from those outlets. I have shopped at those outlets before. I haven't been there in a very long time. But it has definitely rocked our community. Things like that, you know. This was considered a very safe place to live. You just don't expect things like that to happen here. But I'll, that's all I'll say about that. But this is that kind of hot pink looking color here. And I am bringing it out into my outer corner as well. Okay, just putting some more in that outside part of my, the outer part of my eye and blending it out a little bit. Just want to have some dimension out here. Okay, I want to use this other brush here. So just using these two colors as my mattes. I don't mind a Barbie doll pink every now and then for sure. Okay, now that we've got the mattes on, let us try some shimmers. I'm going to use a brush this time. I used my fingers the last time, but this time I'm going to use a brush. And I am going to use this pink dual chrome, multi-chrome. It's got a lot of colors in it. And it's got some pink purple shifts to it, at least. And I am going to put that all over the lid. 
Mm. I'm using Nat Gerard Cosmetics Lay All Day in the scent Peach. I that mm, love that scent. Using my fingers, using the brush. I don't know which way is better. Kind of a combination of both, really. Let me just use my finger over here. I think doing the finger is probably the best method. Okay, loving, loving it. And then I'm gonna try to put on this more toppery kind of pink and see if I can light it up a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Is that working? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like a halo eye. I brought it up way high. Let's see if I can. Mm. Let's try to diffuse that a little bit. I wasn't going for a halo eye, but hey. Okay, I am going to clean up the look and put some eyeliner on, put some mascara on, and I will show you what the eye looks like after I do that, before I put on the rest of my makeup. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, so here are the eyes so far. For eyeliner, I used the Fenty Fly Liner and because I'm black. And for mascara, I used the Rare Beauty Mascara. Does this have a name? No, it's just a mascara in black. For some volume, and then the Telescopic Lift from L'Oreal for some length because that rare beauty they're always going on and on about it on beauty youtube but i like the bigger influencers but i want something with some volume and some length to it so i mean it's good for volume but it doesn't give me any length so anyway so using those two together really help so so far liking the eyes. I think I'm going to put some purple underneath though because this look is a little one-dimensional. So maybe, mm, maybe let me, let's look at this palette. There is a dark, the thing is I don't love putting pink under my eyes. But these purples are a little too dark. What do we think of this color? Or this purple? Maybe this purple. Yeah, maybe this one. Incorporate a little bit of night flower into the look. Would that be cheating? I don't know. Okay. We will. It's just these two. Maybe this one. Yeah, maybe I'll use this one. That way we won't have to dip into Night Flower. Okay. We'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will be right back. Okay. And here we go with the second look. And let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like the first look or the second look? What do you think? I would love to know. Down under in my lower lash line, I use this color here. And I went ahead and used this color instead for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. Just thought, I can't remember if I used this one or this one yesterday. I thought I used this one. So I thought I would use this one today, but I could have used this one yesterday and totally, just totally forgot. But I used this one 
on my eyelids so I thought I would use this one in my inner corner so that is the look to let you know what is on the rest of my face so for my foundation I use the house labs triclone skin tech foundation use that there for bronzer I used my elf putty bronzer in the shade tan lines and for blush I use the item blush and like blush in the color oopsies really nice a little blush there although I think they have gone out of business for highlighter I did remember to put highlighter on today and I put my buxom wanderlust highlighter in the color white russian got it on today and be sh made sure to put some on my nose because i like to do that then what else on my bottom lashes i use the telescopic lift from l'oreal and then on my oh and i use the rasha b cosmetics this lavender one right here on my waterline used that and then on my brows i used my nyx brow mascara tinted brow mascara in espresso and then for lips i used my buxom lip liner in the shade power line right there and then on my lips i put the house labs this is their old branding, but I got this in an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is in the shade Venus. And then to top it all off, to give it a more iridescent look, I use the Jeffree Star Lip Gloss. That has, like I said, I cannot read the bottom of this. Okay, all right. Let me know all the things about the palette, the palette, and yeah. Okay, please leave a comment. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And anything you can to engage with this video would really help me out. Push it out to other viewers like yourself that might be interested in topics like this. And hi, if you are new, thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for watching. This really helps me out, especially if you got to this point in the video. And if you are new, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, setting it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. I hope you're all having a wonderful, a fantastic day out there today. If you are having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you and sending you all all of those good vibes, all of my prayers and thoughts go out to all the victims and the survivors and their families from the Allen mass shooting that happened in my own hometown and okay just remember to stay strong stay healthy and stay safe out there and i will see you in another video soon okay take care until then goodbye